Have video games lost their magic? Are they starting to feel more like a chore than an adventure? If you've been feeling this way, trust me, you're not alone. Today we're diving deep into why video games might not be as fun as they used to be. So let's get started. Now, I want to start by saying that me personally, I still love gaming, but I do understand that many of you feel differently. So let's explore this together and see what's changed over the years. Let's rewind to what many consider the golden age of gaming. The late 90s and early 2000s, these games were groundbreaking and full of innovation. These types of games are remembered so fondly, not just because of the greatness, but because they were simple and focused on nothing else but pure fun. Back then, video games were an art form and a way to connect with others. No microtransactions, no DLCs, and none of those predatory mechanics that seem to plague modern games today. Now, if we fast forward to today, the landscape has drastically changed. Modern games are designed to maximize the time you spend and the money you shell out. It's less about the one-time epic adventure and more about keeping you hooked. This often I leads to games tired. feeling like an endless grind. Remember when completing a game felt like a genuine accomplishment? Nowadays, it can mm -hmm. feel like a second job. You grind monotonous quests and side quests to earn rewards and avoid feeling like you've wasted your money. The innocence of starting and finishing a game has been replaced by filler content and a constant pressure to keep playing. But are games actually losing popularity? Not necessarily. The number of games released on Steam has exploded from over 400 in 2012 to over 14,000 in 2023. That's almost 40 games a day. Even the most dedicated gamer couldn't keep up with that. With so many options, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. Staring at your game library and not knowing what to play can turn a fun activity into a stressful decision. And let's talk about why games might feel a little bit less fun when you get older. Here's a few reasons why. Let's start with the first major point. Time constraints. As we grow older, our responsibilities increase. Whether it's work, school or family or other commitments, these responsibilities can drastically reduce the time we have available for the mess of gaming. This lack of time can make gaming feel less rewarding. You might only have short bursts of time to play, which can make it hard to get deeply involved in a complex story or an engaging multiplayer session. Instead of being a relaxing escape, gaming can become another task squeezed into an already tight schedule. Here's a scenario many of us might recognise. You finally sit down to play, but in the back of your mind you're thinking about all the chores you need to do all those work emails you haven't answered or the family obligations that are just waiting for you this constant distraction can make it difficult to fully immerse yourself in any game time constraints and updates also don't work together these days one of the days when you could put a game in and play instantly now it's common to encounter lengthy updates and patches that can take hours to download and install for those with limited time waiting for these updates can be a major turn off causing you to lose the passion to play altogether it's hard to stay excited about a game when you spend more time waiting to play than actually playing the next point is burnout playing games for years can lead to emotional, physical, and sometimes mental exhaustion. What was once a passion now might feel a little bit tired. Burnout in gaming is real, and it can creep up on you without any warning. When you're passionate about something, it's easy to pour countless hours into it. However, this can sometimes lead to emotional exhaustion. The excitement and joy that games once brought can start to fade, replaced by a sense of obligation or routine. You might find yourself going through the motions without feeling the same level of engagement or satisfaction. Both physical and mental exhaustion also play a huge role. Long-time gaming sessions can strain your eyes, cause headaches, and lead to poor posture or other health issues. Mentally, the constant stimulation and requirements for focus can be draining. This is especially true if you're playing competitive games that demand a high level of concentration and quick reflexes. To combat burnout, it's important to take regular breaks and mix up your activities. By maintaining a balance and listening to your body and mind, you can help ensure that gaming remains a positive and enjoyable part of your life. Next up is choice paralysis. Too many options can lead to decision paralysis and stress. This isn't just limited to gaming though. You might also experience this when picking a new series to watch on Netflix or Amazon Prime. We live in an age of a abundance, with thousands of games available right at our fingertips. While the variety is fantastic, it can also be overwhelming. When faced with so many choices, deciding what to play can sometimes be a stressful experience. You might find yourself spending more time browsing for your game library than actually playing anything at all. Paralyzed by the fear of picking the wrong game and missing out on a better experience, we'll come back to this in the next point. This phenomenon is similar to what happens with streamer services. The sheer number of shows and movies can make it hard to choose. In gaming, this can be frustrating because games require a significant time investment. The pressure to make the perfect choice can take away from the enjoyment and the spontaneity that gaming is supposed to offer. To overcome choice paralysis, try narrowing down your options. Create a short list of games you're genuinely interested in and just stick with them. Simply picking a game at random and diving into it can help break the cycle of indecision. Remember the goal is to have fun, not to stress over making the perfect choice. Moving on to FOMO or the fear of missing out. You might feel a little bit anxious about all the other games you're not playing or about finishing games before the next big release. FOMO is a powerful force in the gaming community. With the constant stream of new releases, updates and events, it's easy to feel like you're always behind. This anxiety can make it hard to enjoy the games you're playing because you're constantly thinking about what you're missing. The pressure to keep up with the latest trends can turn gaming into a source of stress rather than relaxation. This fear can also make it difficult to fully immerse yourself in a game. If you're worried about finishing a game quickly so you can move on to the next, you might rush through it and miss out on the experience. Gaming should be about enjoying the journey, not just completing them to tick them off a list. When FOMO takes over, it can rob you of the joy and satisfaction that comes from truly engaging with the game. To combat FOMO, remind yourself that it's okay not to play every game. 
focus on what you enjoy and give yourself permission to play at your own pace. This way you can find joy in your current games without the constant pressure to keep up. Finally, let's talk about wasted time anxiety. Some gamers start to question the time they spend on gaming, thinking it might be better spent elsewhere. As we get older, our responsibilities increase. You might start to wonder the hours you spend gaming could be better used for something more productive, like learning a new skill, exercising or spending time with the family. This anxiety can make it hard to fully enjoy gaming as you're constantly second guessing your choices. It's important to remember that leisure and relaxation are valuable in their own right. Gaming can be a great way to unwind, de-stress and even socialise. The key is balance. If you're starting to feel guilty about your gaming habits, it might be worth evaluating how you're balancing your time. Are there other activities or responsibilities you're neglecting? To tackle wasted time anxiety, set limits on your gaming sessions and stick to them. This can help ensure that gaming remains a healthy part of your routine. By creating a balanced schedule, you can enjoy gaming without feeling like it's taken away from other important aspects of your life. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and remember, gaming is all about having fun and finding joy. If it feels like a chore, take a step back and rediscover what made it magical for you in the first place. Revisit old favourites, try something new or simply take a break. The gaming world is vast and there's always going to be an adventure waiting for you. So just have fun and never lose sight of why you started playing in the first place. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.